This one's a little different today. Blessed are, and we'll talk about it. It's just a little bit different because, well, you'll see. Yeah. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Wednesday. Hump day. Campbell day. Anyway. So it's a little bit different, this one, um, because it really goes against all that a human would figure out. Now, if you're spiritual, if you're the God, if you're right in his eyes through Jesus Christ, has the Holy Spirit. This is understandable. But when we read this, our human side is like, what did Jesus say? Like, okay, I don't understand that. But our spiritual side does understand this. It does understand this because God is our Father, and if he messed with his children, he messed with the Father. So, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness. Huh? Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. So if we do the right thing in God's eyes, and we get persecuted in the world's eyes, that's a blessing? Yes. Spiritually, if you think about it, it is a blessing. Because A... You're actually doing what God tells you to do. And no matter what people do to you or say to you. So it's a blessing that you're being persecuted. Because actually you're doing what God wants you to do. Instead of what man wants you to do. Because man wants to give you know, give up your morals. And man wants you to give up your, your uh, love for Jesus. Uh, love for others. They want you to come off the path. Because they think they their morals are right, and you're wrong. But you stand on a firm foundation, and there the winds are going to come, the rain's going to come, the persecution is going to come. No doubt in my mind, if you are doing what God wants you to do, people, certain people, will not like you. And that's okay, because who are you trying to please? You're not trying to please man, you're trying to please God. And for his righteousness, and for his sake. And then it, it even goes further. It says, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now, every time you see the kingdom of heaven or, um, you know, pointing to what God says is the kingdom today, that means after the cross, after the resurrection, the church is the kingdom. There's a spiritual kingdom. God is our king. We are his sons and daughters. And those who come through Jesus Christ, we are family. We are a kingdom that cannot be touched, um, cannot be destroyed, because it's a spiritual kingdom. And so, when we're spiritually looking for what God wants us to do, we will be persecuted. And it's a blessing. Because who are they really going up against? Not us. They're going up against our Father. And so we consider it a blessing. So my encouragement for today is, if you're getting persecuted, mentally, physically, uh, emotionally, spiritually, count it a blessing. Because you're doing what God wants you to do, not what the world wants you to do. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great Wednesday. Bye-bye. Yes.